Welcome everyone to the Rainbow Six map tier list. We got every single map that is always in the game. I didn't include maps like Doctor's Curse or the Snowball Fight map because those are in the game for such a short amount of time, they don't really qualify. But we got all the others, even the TDM maps, and we're ranking them from S all the way to F. S, of course, is never ban it because it is actually fun to play, and F is basically an auto ban. You don't want to play this map. I did include maps that aren't in ranked, but if you could ban it, you would. Let's start the list off with Chalet, which was... Oh dear, I didn't realize Chalet was first. This is going to be a controversial take. I don't like Chalet at all. It's probably... It's not my least favorite ranked map, but there are some maps I know most people really hate that they would love to play Chalet instead of, but not me. I, I very much dislike Chalet. I think it's a D tier map. I don't think it works. I don't like how you have to push in. And then once you're in, you're vulnerable from so many angles and so many flanks. I just, I hate playing this map so much. Always high stress. I, I gotta put Chalet in D. I gotta follow my heart. I know that's not gonna be a popular opinion, but I, I gotta go with it. Clubhouse, though, S tier. It's up there. One of my favorite maps. It might, mm, I don't know. I'm not gonna say my favorite yet, but Clubhouse might be it. It is so much fun. I know so many strategies for the map, how to attack and defend, so many fun things you can do different ways to play vertical or fight off angles, stuff like that. And it's not too big. It is a large map, but you're not using all of that map all the time. Like Strip Club, that's a beginning of the round thing. Once you're later into the round, you know, that area doesn't even exist. So the map kind of shrinks as the rounds go down. Three great sites to defend. It's not even that bad attacking. You never feel like you're at too much of a disadvantage. Easy S tier. Consulate. Now we're talking about the rework here. I think they did improve Consulate. Consulate might have been like an auto ban for me before. They improved it a little bit. Still has a lot of problems. That whole first floor is really, really messy. I don't like how... Like, it's not intuitive how you would move around. You would never build a building that way. If you know what I'm saying. But it's not the worst. I'd, I'd honestly rather play it than <laughs> Chalet. I, I'm going to put it in C tier. I know a lot of people really dislike this rework, but I think as I've played it more, I've grown to like it a little bit more. It is very attacker-sided, but that's okay. We need more more maps where defense isn't where the game is decided. Emerald Plains. This is another map that I see people really rag on a lot. I don't think it's that bad. It's, it's better than the Chalet rework for sure. Because it's banned so much and... You don't play it a whole lot. A lot of, especially like silver through plat players, really don't have any strategies for it. And it just becomes like a gunfight. So it's a pretty fun map. At least how I think so. Now when you start playing diamonds and champs, they're going to have, you know, more advanced strategies for it. But it's still not too bad. I, I don't mind Emerald Plains as much as most people do. I'm going in, I'm going in C tier there. House. Um, I prefer the old house way more i think the the rework doesn't click quite as well but it's fun to get it in a casual game you get a nice quick match on house you know it's not gonna be a very long match you just run around gunning for a little bit only problem is that like jukebox site on the first floor is so it's to attack the defenders have <laughs> so much of an advantage and there's really no way to take like vertical control on it it's it's pretty rough but other than that house rework solid b tier it's up there. It's not It's not the best, but, you know, it's not the worst. Cafe Dostoevsky. I don't think I said that right, but we're going with it. Um, you don't like Cafe? It is huge, first of all. It's got that dead middle floor, the second floor, that, like, it's just used for, like, rotates. You can't really play there because you're exposed from so many areas. Two good sites. I like bar. I like kitchen. I don't like reading or train. And it has a huge problem with spawn peaks. There are so many on this map. You can find a hundred TikToks telling you different spawn peaks to try out next time you're on Cafe. I think if they fix the spawn peak problem and maybe rework the second floor just a little bit, I think this could be an A or B tier map. But right now it's sitting at C for me, top of C for Cafe.
Oregon, this is a never ban. Come on, Oregon is so much fun. I'm going to put it above Clubhouse. I think I'm going to go with Oregon as my favorite map, to be honest, just because it's a lot more dynamic, where Coastline is a little, not Coastline, uh, Clubhouse is a little bit simplified. Oregon has a lot of depth to it. There's a lot of different strategies you can run, and it's one of the few maps where free site doesn't really have like a default setup. Everyone can do it a little bit differently, while there are certain things like the rotate into bunks. Everyone's going to do that pretty much the same. But there's a lot of nuances and a lot of intricate strategies that you can pull off if you have the know-how, if you have the team coordination. Uh, for instance, I did a little setup video right here that you can do with uh, Azami and Castle on top floor of Oregon. And that's just one of, of many. You can find tons of strategies online to run on Oregon, especially for the basement site and for attacking as well. Oregon's really just like the pinnacle of R6 maps and it's going top of this and it's staying there. Next up, Canal. Canal is rough. I don't hate it, but it's just like, it just sucks to play. It's it's not a big map. The map is basically cut in half depending on what site you're playing. You can just ignore the other side of the map for the most part and not too much would, would change. It's super limited for how you cross with the two sky bridges. I don't like how they did that where those are the only ways to get across the map from one side to the other without going outside really limits your rotating potential on defense. The staircases are in like weird places where it doesn't make as much sense. Like green stairs is in a stupid spot and the red staircase, I hate that it goes all the way down. It just kind of opens it up in a bad way that doesn't, that doesn't really work. But I don't, I don't think it's too terrible. Like it's not D tier. I would put it at the bottom of C. It's okay every once in a while, but if you're in like a streak of playing Canal all the time, you're going to start to hate it. Nighthaven Labs. Nighthaven is fun. I don't know why people ban this map all the time. It's one of the few like new maps that they add to the game that is enjoyable right off the bat. It's fun. There's a lot of vertical play. I would say the top floor could be reworked a little bit like the meeting area and that like landing spot above the main lobby is pretty rough but you know the garage side of the map is pretty fun staircases are in a little bit wonky places but that's all right and there's just a lot you can do on this map it's very intuitive to play easy to learn you can pull off a lot of fun strats especially on attack there's a lot of different entryways ways to get into the building and you're not like stuck outside taking awkward gunfights like you are on a map like consulate so night haven i think i'm gonna put top of b I enjoy Nighthaven quite a lot. Plane, Presidential Plane. Not a huge fan of this map, to be honest. Um, it's okay because it's only in casual, like you're just going to mess around and play. But if you actually try and like do anything <laughs> serious on plane, especially if you get it in standard, you realize the faults of this map. It is so rough. I mean, I know it's a plane and, you know, it can only be so large and it's generally going to be very linear because of a shape because of the shape planes are, but it, it really struggles. And then you, of course, you're always going to have a glass or a Cali just sitting outside, really making it even more difficult to rotate. I'm not a big fan of plane. I'm put it bottom D bank bank is like hit or miss. If you're playing with a five stack or at least a, you know, three or four stack bank can be pretty fun. But if you're like solo or do queuing, it is just so large, it's hard to take control without a good amount of communication. But I do enjoy Bank a lot on defense, just because it's very wide open, so it's very easy to tell if defenders are in a certain area. For example, like Lobby. If they're anywhere in Lobby, you can see them pretty clearly. Same with like Garage, Square, all those areas. Um, I don't think Bank is too bad. I enjoy it. Again, you don't want to play this one too much, but I'm going to put it right there. Mid B tier is a good spot for bank. Border. Border is another one of those maps that's kind of hit or miss for me. It can be really fun, but you really got to be coordinated as a team. You got to be able to control two floors at all times. Play a lot of vertical play, especially on attack where you got to take control of sight from above in order to push. So if you're locked in, border, border can be up here. 
but just for the casual experience or the usual experience, I say Border is in B, just behind Night Haven. I think that's a good spot for Border. Favela. Favela's all right. It's weird to play. They got, you know, you can come in from like the top of the map and come down those two staircases. I think that's a bit wonky. And they have that weird trash shoot drop. And the sights are, are <laughs> pretty difficult to hold. Not a lot of space to kind of play in sight. If, you're, if they take control of any one pocket of the map, they can pretty much push you out of sight and force you to retake. I think Favela goes in D tier. I think it's better than plain, but but not much else. Fortress. Uh, this is a ma another map I don't really like. I don't like all the long hallways. I don't like how many reinforcements are on each side. And I just don't like the vibe of the map. That kind of like yellow mist kind of deal. Not a, not a big fan of it. I think this one also goes into deep. I think this one goes below plain. Being such a large map, it's just... Um, it's not that fun to me, to be honest. I might be in the minority there, but I'm glad Fortress isn't in ranked. Hereford Base. Now, this is an example of doing a large map right. Like, while yes, it is very large, and some of the floors, like the first floor, can be a choke point with the staircases and it being very difficult to get into, but when you start getting to, like, basement, second floor, third floor, it can actually be pretty fun to push in a different way, try and clear out roamers. It really, this whole map is an exercise in clearing out roamers. But uh, I don't think Hereford Base is that bad. Again, it's not great. It is a very, very large map. But for being so large, it doesn't feel that way. Being a four-story map, it feels smaller than Consulate for sure, despite it definitely being larger. Tower. Auto ban. I despise Tower. If I get in casual, I, I just leave the game. If I'm playing by myself... Uh, if I'm playing my squad, I'll stay, obviously, but I hate tower. It's just like a rat's dream. So many places, especially like attackers will just sit up in those rafters for three quarters of the round and it just gets super boring. Tower is a lot of waiting around, waiting for basically nothing to happen because nothing will happen the whole time you're playing tower. It's basically who can out rat the other team. Tower F tier. Outback. Outback, I used to really hate this map, but I've I've been watching videos and kind of trying to learn, and I actually don't mind it as much as I used to. I still think it could use another rework, especially for like the main site, the dorm site. I don't like how that is like cut off with all these hard doorways. I think more soft walls on this map would help a lot. Maybe tighten up that games area a little bit. Make it like a double door with two soft walls. Something, everything feels very like constrictive on this map. Like it's dangerous to move around. And despite how constrictive it is, it's like tight hallways and then one giant open long hallway or open area that you're going to get slammed from from six different angles. So I'm not a big fan of Outback. I think it goes just below Cafe. I think that's a good place for it. Villa. Villa, I don't know. I used to really love this map. It might have been one of my favorites. It's gone down a little bit over the years, but it's not its not terrible. It's just not that fun. I think Villa, Villa goes right here, like mid B, just below border. It is a fun map with like trophy and aviator and stuff, but it's when you start having to move around the map. Plus it has the giant wasted space in the basement. No one goes there at all. I think if they ever do rework Villa, that will definitely be changed. They'll have like a site down there and maybe make the ceiling soft above so you can play vertical. But as of now, Villa has a lot of wasted potential. But even with that, it's not as bad as some of these other maps. It's still pretty solid, especially on the second floor. Yacht. I don't like this map. <laughs> it's going down here. It's better than Tower. You can't ban it. Obviously, it's not ranked. But... It's one of those maps similar to Plane where very narrow hallways, long hallways that you have to fight all the way down. It's too big for what it is. It's got a lot of wasted space. That fourth floor cockpit site is just atrocious. It is so hard to defend. It's fun for gunfights, but if you actually wanted to like defend it for real, uh, is 
very, very difficult. And plus it being such a bright map on the outside, attackers get a big advantage there. Definitely an attacker-sided map despite its size, just because there are so many long hallways that the attacker's guns really get the advantage there, having, you know, generally higher damage and having more options as far as sites go. Close Quarters. This is a free-for-all only map. It is like the old version of Stadium Bravo. It's okay. Obviously, just being in like the arcade playlist it doesn't get as much serious attention as other maps. There's not really, you know, full blown out strategies to run on it, but it's not terrible. The only issue is by the, I think it's the purple staircase, like all the way on the west side of the map. That whole area you walk up to like a flat platform with basically nothing but like two head hold spawn peaks that people do with two head glitches that people sit on. That's the only issue with it. Um, similar to a lot of rainbow maps, the stair the staircases aren't put in the best spots. Having to fight weird angles on staircases is tough in Siege, especially with one-shot headshots, being able to just get sprayed right over a barrier and get slammed. I don't think it's terrible, though. I think bottom of C is fine for close quarters. Again, it's not, you know, it's not in ranked or anything, so... It's not as serious. Skyscraper. This is one I used to absolutely hate playing on, similar to Outback. Like I would I would probably put in auto ban before, but now I kind of know I know a few more strategies for it. I feel more confident playing the map. It's still not amazing. It's not, you know, it's not the worst. I can deal with it. I think it goes again just below cafe. Cafe is like the the epitome of mid. So that's why I think, like, uh, it's a little bit less. Okay, it goes below cafe. Coastline. Coastline, A tier for me. It's just the gunfight map. It's one map where you don't have to worry about constantly bringing a hard breach every round and the round depending on if you can get that hard breach or not. If you can't, whole round changes. On Coastline, you don't have to worry about all that. You can bring different kinds of executes, like a smoke execute with Ying and Gridlock and Capital. You can play operators that you usually don't. You can just go for frags, play, bring an Ash and Yana every round, run around slamming people. And even though you can just run around slamming people, you can also pull off some pretty decent strategies, especially on defense on like the kitchen site. There's a, a myriad of ways to set that site up. And I think Coastline, everyone knows, everyone loves Coastline, A tier. Theme Park. Theme Park is like, when I see it on the map selection, I'm like, oh, no, not theme park. But then when you play it, it's not too bad. It is very defender-sided, which, you know, kind of sucks. But it's not the worst map. The only problem with theme park is it's really difficult to move around, especially on attack. It's like you have to pick an area. And it's like, okay, we're going to attack this area. We're going to go barrels or we're going to go kayak and we're going to take this and we're going to try to take it. We're going to take electrical closet and open the wall. You got to pick what you want to do. It's not, it's less free flowing than a map like coastline where your, your team kind of has to dedicate itself to a certain area to take. And the problem with that is once defenders know you're pushing a certain area, especially if they see the hard breach in that area of the map, they're going to be like, okay, this is their main take. Let's all just gang up here and we'll, we'll win the round basically. So yeah, if you're, as long as you're not throwing bodies at them, you're winning pretty much every defensive round. But despite that, I think, I think it goes B. I don't hate playing theme park and you get to play defense, you know, at least <laughs> you get at least one round on defense every game. So I think like towards the bottom of B is fine for theme park. And then last up we have stadium Bravo, which is a combination of border and coastline. Uh, I don't really love this map. I hate that it's almost completely made out of metal. There's so many loud areas where defenders just hear you stomping around through the map. Or if you're trying to rotate as a defender, you're making so much noise that attackers are going to know you're flanking them. It's not absolutely terrible. Like, it's not an auto ban. Although I know I know a lot of people feel <laughs> that it is an auto ban, but I don't I don't think it quite is. Um, I think there are some ways 
to play this map to make it somewhat more bearable. Having said that, it's still trash. Don't don't get me wrong. I think it goes right here behind Chalet. I think that's a good good place for Stadium Bravo. If they make it a little more entry friendly, it could definitely go up. But unfortunately, it's built off of border and coastline, which are <laughs> both not entry friendly maps. When I'm saying when I'm saying entry friendly, I mean it's hard to get into the map physically. So it's gonna go you know, mid D tier. And that completes our tier list of the Rainbow Six Siege maps. Let me know what you think. I know everyone's gonna disagree with the chalet. That's fine, I can take it. I hate this map, I'm standing by it. And uh, that is about it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know your favorite maps down in the comments and I'll see you next time.